Check, check, check. Hello and welcome once again. It's match day three at the Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. We are live here from the Al Amarath Cricket Grounds. Oval number two being used today for both the games on this occasion. And what an exciting contest is going to turn out to be because the home team, Oman, will be taking on Cambodia today. We've had some exciting action here, setting ablaze this tournament. The previous two days have been absolutely thrilling. Match number nine and of course the two teams in front of you. Oman taking on Cambodia right now at Oval 2. What's going to happen now is that we're going to quickly head down to the center where our co-commentator Pranav Mehta is there with the two captains and the toss. Let's see what happens. It's toss time here at the Oman Cricket Academy. Day three of the competition and the home side, Oman is going to be going against Cambodia. It's the Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. And the home team, Zishan Maksud, is going to be flipping the coin. Tails is the call, Prakash. It is tails. Tails it is. So what would you like to do? Bowl first. Bowl first is the call from Cambodia and that is going to be an interesting game. Bowling first. And yes, of course, Captain Lukman Bhatt of Cambodia winning the toss. And what he's going to do is he's going to have a little bit of a bowl first. Yesterday, they had their, a very, very tough game against the Kuwaiti side. And that's probably the team lineup that they're going out with. Talking about Cambodia, Vimukto Viraj Radela and Uday Singh Hatinjar, the wicket keeper, they'll be opening the innings with the bat. Salvin Stanley, Anish Rambabu Prasad, Etienne Bukes is the lower middle order big hitter. Gulam Murtaza Chuktai will be their guy with the opening ball. And then Lukman Bhatt, the captain, he had a great game yesterday. Along with him was Ram Roshan Sharan. What a great day with the bat and ball for him. Shravan Godara will be an opening bowler for them, good pacer, Utkarsh Jain. And of course, completing that lineup is going to be Lakshit Gupta. The team lineup for Oman is going to be Akib Ilyas, Kashyap Kumar Prajapati opening the batting, Naseem Khushi will accompany him, Rafiullah, Khalid Kale, Bilal Khan is always a menace, Ahmed Fayaz, but Pratik Atavle will do duties behind the stumps, Zishan Maksud, Ayan Khan, and of course, Mehran Khan completes that lineup. Just a summary of that toss that happened a while ago. Cambodia have won the toss and elected to bowl. And very important to speak about the conditions today. We've had a delayed start. And of course, this is going to be 11 over a side game to talk more about this. And joining me in the com box for the very first time today is going to be Pranav Mehta. Good day to you. Good morning. And this is such an incredible day. Overcast conditions. For the early part of the morning, we thought match was never going to happen, but unpredictable Oman, Kashyap Kumar Prajapati, such a dynamic player for Oman. Gets a lot of runs and gets him very elegantly, stylish. And along with him, it's going to be the powerhouse, the all-out attacking, Mohamed Naseem. The, he was playing as a wicketkeeper to start off with, and now he has left the duty and he's going to be playing as a specialist batter. And he's got form on his side. Runs against Namibia in the previous series and now coming into this tournament, striking the ball very clean. Shravan Godara, and he'll look to swing the ball. He's got a very, very nippy pace. Bowls with good zinc. Gets and generates pace off the deck. And he'll have to be played with some caution, I believe, especially Naseem Kushi, who does not, I, I believe, does not like the swinging ball too much up top in the innings. But then it's always the power play. And you did see yesterday Kuwait making use of that power play. Clinto, as well as Ravija against Cambodia. They got off to a flying start and some unbelievable shots were played off the Cambodian bowlers. The only saving grace, perhaps, Captain Lukman, but trying to pull back things a bit. First ball. 
And straight away, outside edge, the ball's racing towards the boundary rope. Some good effort out there. And this is something the Cambodian fielders and the Cambodian unit as a fielding unit will want to improve today. Yes, it's the ACC Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. T20 is the word there, but this is going to be 11 overs aside. Pretty similar to the T10 format. The bat will be thrown at almost everything and they would love to get as many on board as possible. Some interesting stuff here. It will be very interesting to see if he can manage to get a little bit of swing onto that ball as well. Shot and he's pulled it away. Big shot and of course, early signs of aggression here from Kashyap Kumar Prajapati and probably that's the only way he knows how to play. Six runs here for Roman. First boundary. What an incredible shot. It was back of length, but when you have that back, big back lift of Kashyap Kumar Prajapati, anything from the bat is always going to be flying and it's going to be flying long. Six valuable runs for Kashyap and what a start. Eight of the first two deliveries. He loves to adapt quickly, Ashravan Godara. Short balls are not going to be his best friend, especially on a deck like this. Tries to play an expansive drive, but then misses all ends up. So finally getting a hint of swing, Shravan managing to get back on that occasion. Let's have a look at that six again. Was absolutely timed to perfection. Got into position really quickly and read that short ball really well. One thing that Cambodia would want to adapt to is... Yes, the, there will be a little bit of wetness in the outfield because of the rains that, were, that happened all through the morning. And that's where the swing can be cut off. So the towels will have to come into play. Cut and straight into the hands of the fielder. Etienne Bukes has probably grabbed a stunner here and it's a big wicket. Aggressor of runs, Kashyap Kumar Prajapati, who's just coming fresh off a big, big maximum, has now got to make a long long way back to the dressing room it's an important time to score runs but when you have the hands of ethan books it is always going to be taken wonderful catch holding on to something that was traveling as good as that it's incredible feeling at almost backward point kashyap kumar prajapati the star batter is going to be walking back for eight or four deliveries he had a maximum to his name and this is early blow for roman In walks Archibillas. He's the star of the Oman national cricket team over the past few years. Comes in at number three. And he's immediately always looking to attack. In this tournament, two matches, 62 runs. And this is incredible figures. The average of 62. Although a different kind of day. Overcast conditions. Advantage to the Pacers. But the class of Archibillas is going to come into play. Yes, of course, this is the second match and of course he scored that 62 in the very first game against Bahrain. Shavan Godara trying to strike or get first blood away here, but then of course it's not after a very, very expensive over already. Eight runs of this over, but keeping in mind it's going to be 11 aside contest, so you would expect the batters to go hammer and tongs at, and throwing themselves at every possible loose delivery that they can get, even converting the good deliveries into some good shots and few runs here. The power play area is going to be absolutely, absolutely critical. Three overs of power play in the slot. And of course, this has been driven well. Lugman but is one of the safest fielders and probably one of the more sure cricketers in this Cambodian side. End of the very first over, quite eventful as a matter of fact. Eight for one Oman after the first over.
Captain Lukman, but just getting into action and this time is negotiated well. First ball for Nasim Koshi and he makes use of it, puts it to full use, guides it deftly towards the cover region and he'll grab four for it. So Lukman, but will have to adapt. Nasim Koshi, so important, dancing down the track. Cutting out all the swing that was possible for Lukman Bhatt and driving it all along the ground. The power, the finesse of Nasim Kushi is going to be very critical, especially in the next two overs. It's time for power play and Oman would want a lot of impact in this power play. Yes, that's much better. Trying to use the deck, trying to get a little bit of deviation from the deck, pitching within the stumps and then you have that hint of away movement. And Lukman but has been exciting, especially in the last game. Have a look at that. He had no answer, I believe, Nasim Kushi to that delivery. And probably he should have looked to play a cross-batted shot or just forcing Nasim Kushi to play that cross-batted shot because they know that it's a 11-over game and it's going to be a great, great show here. The conditions have a big role to play and this is pulled well. The power of Nasim Kushi is coming to play here at the Oman Cricket Academy. He loves to dominate and that's exactly what he's doing. And especially he's doing it against the opposing captain. Yes, of course. And this one, once again, Nasim Kushi managing to read that short ball as early as possible and maintains a good balance while playing that pull shot. Targets that area. Doesn't hesitate to go aerial on this occasion, especially because he knows that it's a power play time and you need to make merry. The sun's shining bright now. Full ball and what a loft this is down the ground. Will it go for six? Yes, it does. So Nasim Kushi manages to make merry in this particular over. Nearly 14 runs of the first four deliveries. And this is not looking good for Cambodia. They'll have to adapt really, really quickly. This is incredible stuff. Short of the day from Nasim Kushi using his height to his advantage. A short ham jab, not even looking to complete the shot. That's the power of Nasim Kushi. That's the elegance of Nasim, Nasim Kushi. He's looking to make things happen and these are troubled times for Cambodia. He can damage this bowling side of Cambodia. Worked away towards the onside. Going to be only a single, so good cricket here. 11 over a side game. You came into this... You come into this tournament thinking that, of course, you're going to be like 20 over cricket all around. Just have a look at that shot. Just coming in, making sure he has perfect balance. Gets the ball onto the bat nicely. Lofts it. What an elegant six this is from Nasim Kushi, and this is perhaps one of the main reasons why he's been provided that opening slot. It, it all comes down to the confidence, the runs that are there behind his back. He believes in himself. Try something cute. The, the leg was outside the off stump, so he's probably going to be safe regarding that. Arke Bilyas is a very, very strong player on the onside. However, that uneventful delivery does not reflect the way this over has gone. Nearly 15 runs of it. So the second over has perished. 23 for one, Oman. Shavan Godara to continue and of course Nasim Kushi after gathering a little bit of confidence in that previous over will obviously want to take a few chances here. It's the last over of the power play. 23 for 1 is where Oman find themselves at the moment. Now Cambodia is fresh to this big stage and what an occasion for them rubbing shoulders with the big boys of Asian cricket especially the likes of Oman and then last afternoon they had their match against Kuwait. They didn't manage to give in a good performance. Big shot once again. He's picked it up. Two fielders trying to converge and interested in that. But no, I guess it's just going to end up being another maximum. So early exercise for the umpires out there in the center. And some early intent shown by Nasim Kushi. The power. The power of Nasim Kushi. 
using his height to his advantage, getting to the reach of the ball. And every time he strikes that ball, it is going to be traveling. He's such an impactful player. He is doing incredibly good for Oman in the shorted format. Once again, just does that short arm jab. Luckily, there is a fielder located out there, gets a little bit of hand on to it. So Naseem Kushi will manage to get off strike. It's going to be really interesting to see how Akib Ilyas responds to such conditions. 11 over game and Akib Ilyas has plenty of experience playing the tape ball form of cricket, doesn't he? He's always an exciting cricketer, loves going towards the onside, has those amazing wrists. The flicks come into play and of course these are home conditions for him. Two ways to look at things. One is the conditions, overcast conditions, clouds. What a drive, up in the air, he clears the field over the covers and of course he's going to grab four, so finally getting into the act, Ake Bilyas as well. This is damaging, this is damaging to the confidence of Cambodia. Oman has come, have come all guns blazing and they're playing shots all around the ground. If it was the power of Naseem Kushi on this occasion, it is the elegance of Ake Bilyas. This is classic, this is classic stuff from Oman. They're dominating this Cambodian side and breaking their back. Shavan Godara still trying to get a hang of things here. Short and of course this one's picked up as well and Ake Bilyas doesn't miss many of those. Once again it's going to be some exercise for the empires out there in the middle. Ake Ilyas has joined the party. Ten quick runs in two balls. What wonderful batting from Ake Bilyas. This was back of length. And what an incredible strike, getting the major part of the bat to make sure that this ball travels all the way. He's a strong lad, wonderful hand-eye coordination is something that he offers. Loves to be cheeky, innovative. And innovation is something that is going to come into play very soon if he survives for a while. This time, once again, another short delivery and this is something that Shavan Godara will have to do it. But then interested is the fielder at deep square leg. And Ake Bilyas trying to up the ante further on the very last delivery of the power play will perish. So a wicket finally to Shravan. Second for him as a matter of fact in two overs. So he's gone for runs and at the same time a wicket to him. He was looking to accelerate anything in his arc and why not? It was the last ball of the power play. He wanted to make the most of it on this occasion finding the fielder and he wouldn't mind it. Oman wouldn't mind it. It is that kind of a match where they want to go all guns blazing. Ten of six deliveries for Ake Bilyas and Oman are going to be completing this power play for 40 for two. It's the power play number two. Five circles from the empire. Assuring that there will be a relief for the bowler. Five fielders allowed in the out circle. Covering the boundaries. And they need more of them. With the way, the intent that is provided by Oman. Especially that man on the screen, Naseem Khushi. He's brought his power. Here at the Oman Cricket Academy, ground number two. ACC Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024 and Oman have come to the party on day number three. In the shortened match, 11 overs aside. And what an incredible start that has been to this game. 40 in the power play for Oman. Yes, it's a three over power play. Left arm orthodox Utkarsh now getting into the act and th these are some similar tactics that these, the Cambodians have used in the previous game as well. And whenever you're up against some big hitting, you would always want to try and slow things down a bit. Big shot here from Naseem Kushi. Once again, tries to take that aerial route. There is still a fielder out there in the deep, so it's only going to be a single. 
What's going to be interesting is the way Zeeshan Maksud now approaches his innings. Normally a very sedate player tries, likes to get his eye in, but for today it's going to be a different situation. You've got conditions that demand go to get going from ball number one. One thing that's going to happen as the innings progresses is that that ball will get heavier. It will accumulate a lot of moisture that is there abundantly available in the outfield. And that will make shot making a little difficult. Trying to charge down the track on ball number one. And of course, it's going to find the fielder. So early intent shown from Zishan Maksud against the left arm finger spinner. Naseem Kushi probably knows just one way, and that's to go downtown, especially for a spinner like Utkarsh. Wonder if there's a little bit of turn and bounce available for him. Ut Utkarsh to Naseem Kushi, and the power comes in play here at the Oman Cricket Academy, striking it through the line. The way he uses his height, it's incredible. Absolutely. And just as mentioned before, he loves going downtown to the finger spinners. And that's probably a sweet spot for him. Loves getting the ball onto the bat. And that's available a plenty, especially if Utkash is going to toss it up to him. Much better here from Utkash Jain, but negotiated well from Naseem Kushi. Looking for the second run. Good throw from the deep. One thing that will be playing in the Oman camp is that they posted 170, 175 in the game against Bahrain and that was not enough with the way Bahrain came attacking towards them. And another, th another point is that the way UAE-Bahrain match happened on this very ground, 235 posted by UAE and Bahrain came all guns blazing of the inside edge. They will rotate the strike. Yeah, absolutely. And from whatever we've seen of Cambodia yesterday afternoon also turned out to be pretty nice. With that, I think it's just the end of the fourth over. It's going to be 49 for 2 Oman at the moment. Straight away, off spinner out there in the middle for Cambodia at the moment. It's going to be Ram Roshan Sharan for Cambodia. He's had a good day with the bat and a little bit with the ball, and primarily his target is going to be the left-hander Zishan Maksud on this occasion, trying and keeping him quiet. But at the moment, it's going to be Nasim Kushi, the right-hander, who's just launched this ball into orbit. It's high and mighty, and of course... It's, he's going to be absolutely critical in this national team setup and always be looking to get some maximums. Yeah. It is Lukman Bhatt who is standing at long on and he had no interest in whatsoever in getting involved. Such is the power of this man, Naseem Goshi, striking it clean, dancing around the wicket, using his height to his advantage, getting to the reach of the ball and he never looked to keep it down. This is incredible stuff from Naseem Goshi, quickly moving on to 36 of 15. Still needing to adapt here, Naseem Kushi, as well as Ram Sharan. Now what's going to happen here is Ram Sharan going for a maximum on the very first delivery or, or the second delivery of this over. And you're all of a sudden under pressure, wondering what to do next. New balls have been ordered. And such was the might and the power of that big, big, Short of Naseem Kushi at this stage of the innings. 36 of 15. 12 and a half runs and over from here onwards will take them to 136 in 11 over game. This is always going to be an uphill task.
for sure. No two thoughts. It's a wonderful day to play and witness cricket here at the Oman Cricket Academy. These wonderful visuals are brought to you by TCM, the production team that works tirelessly behind the scenes so that you're able to get all the... I will come back to that because the power of Naseem Khushi is continuing to dominate here against Cambodia all along the ground on this occasion through the cover region and four more. Not allowing Ram Sharan to settle down and he's definitely played that wonderful balance shown there and the timing was so perfect. The ball was racing towards this quick outfield on oval number two at the Alamrat Oman Cricket Academy. Dancing down the track and what a big, big swing that is. Just a single, but he certainly has come out in some mood here, Naseem Koshi. Finally, the off-spinner will have a go at the left-hander Zishan Maksud. He's looking for a boundary every ball. Why not? It's an 11 over a game. They have just over six overs to play in the first innings and they want to dominate. They want to get as many on the board as possible. They want to bat Cambodia out of this contest. Definitely played behind the keeper. It's going to be only a single. So yes, of course, you've got a few runs in this over and you would want to maximize that at the most. A few singles here, a couple there, a odd boundaries on poor deliveries and all of a sudden you're looking at a commanding total. Short ball and once again takes the aerial route. Nasim Kushi is planning to make a massive statement here at the Oman Cricket Academy Oval 2. It's match number two for Oman at the moment, racing to 47 in 18 deliveries. And with that, we come to the end of the fifth over. It's going to be 67 for the loss of two wickets, Oman. Utkarsh Jain, another slower bowler for Cambodia at the moment. They do seem to be in a spot of bother here. Lukman, but the captain of Cambodia, electing to bowl first and his bowlers have not responded well on this occasion. The pace bowlers have been bowling far too short and then the spin bowlers, the slower bowlers also not bowling the right areas. There's nothing much that you can do when you are dominant against the power of Naseem Koshi. It has come to party here on match day number three. What wonderful striking from Mohamed Naseem Koshi. 47 of 18. Just three away from his landmark. And in my opinion, he's going to continue. Full and deftly played. So change of sorts for Naseem Koshi. Probably wants to have a good look at the bowler before going bang bang in this particular over. Probably he will hold one end as Zishan Maksud looks to target Utkarsh, the left arm spinner. Yes, he does. This time he goes over covers. And of course, that ball, after a couple of bounces, will certainly make its way to the fence. So now Zishan Maksud wants to get into the act with a boundary to his name. This is brilliant tactically. Tactical implementation from Oman. The lefty goes after the left arm spinner. Zishan Maksud, the captain. Trouble times so for Cambodia continue. 5.3, 73 on the board already. Big shot. This time he's just thumped it towards the onside. But however, it's only going to find the hands of the fielder stationed at Cow Corner. Captain Lukman, but one of the safest hands in this Cambodian side, will manage to see the back of Zishan Maksud heading back into the hut. So the captain holds on to the captain. Zishan Maksud is going to be departing. He was looking to make merry here against the left arm spinner and not getting the best part of his bat on this occasion. It's a longer boundary as well. And it is Lukman who's going to be holding on to that. 
Oman lose their third and they wouldn't mind because they are looking to get as many as possible in these 11 overs. 73 for 3, 5.4. Yes, it's time to thank our partners, official partners, Dafa News, 1xBat, Babu88 Sports, official streaming partner, India, official streaming partner, India, Fancode, official broadcast partner, Nepal, Kantipo TV, and these wonderful visuals are brought to you courtesy of TCM. A big thank you. To the Asian Cricket Council and Oman Cricket for hosting this wonderful T20 tournament in these wonderful grounds of Oman Cricket Academy. Works it away towards the onside. He'll certainly look for the second run as well, but no says Nasim Kushi not interested. So Ayan Khan will have to just stay put on that occasion. Six overs gone, 75 for three Oman at the moment. It's time for you to unlock cricket. Download the ACC app and you need to be doing that right now. It's available on Android and iOS platforms. You could also visit the website www.asiancricket.org to get highlights of all the action that's on offer. If you're not there, you're missing out on a major opportunity because there is a lot of action to offer. This is the ACC Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024 and the big reward is in the way. That prime position in the Asia Cup. And alongside me, it's going to be the senior statesman Jamil Zaidi who is going to be joining me for the remaining five overs of the first innings. Yes, if you have joined me in late, it is a rain-affected match. Thank you, Pranav. Wonderfully. Weather today in the morning, but it was a red curtailed man of 11 overs each side. Oman has been asked to bat first, and they did what they were looking for. Down the leg side. Let's wait for the umpire signals. So, a blistering start for Oman. Especially Mohamed Nasim Kushi on 49 of 21 deliveries. Ayan Khan just came in. Three wickets down. Zishan Maksud back into the dugout. A very good start for Oman. Looking for his 50 on this occasion. It's Mohamed Nasim Kushi. 49 of 21 deliveries. Oman has had a wonderful start and it's courtesy of Mohamed Nasim Kushi. And he's looking to make merry here at the Oman Cricket Academy. In the process, he will get his 50. And what an incredible way to get your 50. It's an impactful innings. He's looked to make damage and he's damaged the Cambodian attack all around the ground with his power, finesse and his attacking ability. Mohamed Nasim Khushi playing as a specialist ba batter. He's a wicket-keeping batsman, but in this match, in this tournament, he's playing as a specialist batter and he's making things happen. Five boundaries and four sixes in the process and look at that strike rate of 240. That's how damaging he's been. Hammered out towards the, between mid-off and mid-on and it's a valiant effort, but finally the boundary has come up for Naseem Kushi. Brilliant batting from him, blistering knock, five sixes, of course. He's such a commandable batter, you know. He played for him for so many years, coming down. Best part is that it's reach to the ball is absolutely brilliant. He should have been a mathematician. He's bisecting the field to perfection. Keeping both the fielders interested and diving efforts from both the fielders is not going to be able to stop it. He's making things happen for Oman here. Short, slower delivery and this is intelligent bowling from Golam. 
after being impacted to back to back boundaries that's a dot ball and it's valuable for cambodia how much do you think is a good score it's an 11 over game approximately 140 145 i'm looking from here on because the way the naseem kushal started so as kashyap kumar but he didn't do well then the shan muskul came in he also did some come big shots so i think 140 150 would have been a definite total at from look from here on stroke once again this has come from the middle of the bat the fielders are the spectators this is incredible striking from Mohammad Nazim Koshi. He's batting Cambodia out of this game. Incredible striking. Everything is coming from the middle of the bat. And this is very, very serious trouble for Cambodia at the moment. Shot pulled beautifully right from the meat of the bat towards the mid bucket boundary for a six. He is really on song now. Blistering knock he has played so far for Oman. Oman badly looking for a good total so that they can come up at the end of the innings that have got some lot of good batting from these people from Zishan Maksud as well and now it's Tashim Kusi who's taking the cue once again shot pulled beautifully over to the square leg boundary for six six is a joke for Nasim Kushi at the moment anything in his arc out of his arc does not matter seven overs done 95 for three Oman and they're dominating this team This is Nasim Kushi for you. This is the way things have happened for him. Getting to his 50, he's used his height to his advantage. Anything in his arc has been dispatched. Anything out of his arc has been dispatched. He's enjoyed this overcast conditions here at the Oman Cricket Academy. Yes, at the toss, we did feel it is going to be advantage bowling side. And that advantage has disappeared within seconds because the power of Nasim Kushi has come to the party using his power and on occasions he's been looked to be cheeky as well and everything has worked for him and that's exactly how he got to his 50 playing a paddle sweep over the fine leg and why not celebration has come and celebration has continued for Nasim Koshi because even after con getting to his 50 he's continued to damage the Cambodian attack this is incredible striking brilliant gameplay Ayan Khan on this occasion, he's joined Nasim Khushi. Everybody is taking a liking. And it is Ayan Khan on this occasion. Utkarsh has been dispatched for a maximum over long on. But you do have such a good start in the bidding. Left and the battle is coming up. There's no pressure at all. Look at that one. Just picked it up nicely from the meat of the bat over the long on boundary for the maximum. So runs are really flowing for a man. Of course, through the bat of Nasim Kushi, and now Ayan Khan has now come up with some blistering attack on the Cambodian ballers. 140, 150 is what you mentioned, and I believe Oman is in course to achieving that. Yes, there is the power of Rafiullah, which is still to come in, but it doesn't matter because two batters, Ayan Khan and Nasim Kushi, are enjoying these facilities here at the Oman Cricket Academy. They're the home side, they understand this ground, the dimensions, the circumstances, everything much better than Cambodia. And that's where Cambodia have missed or erred in their line and length. They've not been able to make use of these facilities, the conditions, overcast conditions, and the wicket. Once again, down, down the wicket, and you saw the wicket, badly looking for the Gabonian baller, and it was Utrakash, who got the wicket of Nasim Kushi. So finally, the man who was destroying the bowling of Cambodia back into the dugout. Wicket number four down for Oman. We often talk about commentators because what is the opposite of commentators because because on this occasion we were saying that Cambodia are not making use of the facilities and just that Utkarsh bowling an arm ball and Mohamed Nasim Kushi, the wicket keeping batsman for Oman who is playing as a specialist batsman not able to read that arm ball from Utkarsh he departs but what a wonderful knock 69 of 27 and those boundaries and sixes float all over the Oman Cricket Academy ground number two Oman 102 for the loss of four wickets and it will be 
102 for five wickets. I beg your pardon. Yes, we got it right on the first occasion. It is 102 for four. Mohammed Naseem Kushi has departed and Khalid Kale has come into attack. Arm ball and arm ball continues to flow. A quick single off the pads will allow them to get a single. Khalid Kale, another blistering battle Oman has got. They try to get the runs, what we're talking about in 51, 60, to make them comfortable. They do have a brilliant batting, a balling attack with Bilal Khan. Beautifully bowled down the rack, offside, and it was missed by the keeper as well. So one additional run. Runs coming in form of by. It's been a tough outing for Cambodia so far, courtesy of Mohamed Nasim Goshi. An impactful innings. That might have batted Cambodia out of this match. Flight in and struck straight down the ground. Lot of power, but there is protection in the deep. That will allow Khalid Kel to get off strike. Eto was done 105 for o Oman, and they're dominating this game. Gosh, his bowling to bowl is third over, possibly the last one. So beautifully hit over the cow's corner. The fielder is there, and they go for the single. After the fall of Nasim Kushi, runs are now really getting difficult for the batters to come up. The way Nasim Kushi was playing, he was just doing the right for Oman. And joining me in the com box is Amin Wagle. Yeah, now Vimukti Viraj Radela has been introduced into the attack. Once again, just that one over in the previous game against Kuwait in which he conceded 12 runs, probably the last over. Trying to charge down the track and correcting himself at the very last moment, Ayan Khan. A little bit of sloppy fielding will only allow him to get a couple of runs added to the total. This has suddenly been quite an under-pressure performance for Cambodia at the moment. Actually, they don't, I think they don't have the exposure. The other teams have got, especially in this part of the area where in Gulf, the first time they've been visiting here, they played two matches, but of course, they did one in the first match, about 140 runs they have scored in that match. Yes, of course, and Ayan Khan goes downtown and he goes towards the onside, a big Big, towering, monstrous six towards the long on boundary. So what a brilliant strike this is from Ayan Khan. Under pressure to get a few runs behind his back and making sure that he does not let this occasion go, especially against a side like Cambodia who are against, who have their backs against their walls, under pressure, trying to make their way into the big league. Similar sort of a shot, it's been hit really hard. And once again, Etienne Bukes has been probably the pick of the fielders this afternoon, been everywhere already, taking a big, big catch of Kashyap Kumar Prajapati early on in the innings. And now it's Ayan Khan who's going to be heading back to the pavilion, courtesy some exciting fielding efforts. Once again, he tried to clear the ground, which was wonderfully taken by the fielder. Look at that effort. Brilliant catch, one of the best we have seen in the morning. So Oman lost wicket number five. It is Ayan Khan back into the duckout. 16 runs with two sixes and phase seven deliveries.
going to be the new bats- batter in Rafiola so it's still going to be an absolute carnage here out there at oval number 2 at the center cambodia just facing the heat this time around it's captain lugman but who manages to just put in that diving effort unsuccessful though good attempt once again on to the back foot played it out to the long on and it was a good effort but finally couldn't grab it the ball crosses the fence thumped towards the cover region the fielder not managed to get a little bit of hand on to that not even footwork and it's going to be a boundary so rafiola successfully managing to up the tempo slightly higher and that's probably one of the main reason why he is out there nine overs are done oman 122 for 5 at the moment Captain Lugman but with the ball in hand and he'll probably look to make a few amends to that first over that he had bowled but no says Khalid Kale once again a massive massive strike towards the deep mid wicket region and it's something about the lengths and the line that Lukman Bhatt is offering and something very easy about that for Khalid Kale to deal with that delivery was down the leg side and nicely picked it up by Khalid K over the once again to the cow's corner for the maximum so runs are flowing now this time once again hammered it this time out to the cover point area and that's it another boundary yeah most certainly now Khalid K has been probably been given the role of addressing majority of the runs in quick fashion you did see Khalid Kale just blistering to a massive century in those warm up games leading up to this tournament in the ACC men's premier cup lukman bhat will have to do something different yesterday against kuwait he was bowling much quicker was one of the most successful bowlers of the lot big shot big heave throws in the kitchen sink and of course it's only going to be resulting in another maximum a big big over coming up from the bat of Khalid Kale at the moment already 14 of it this was the worst delivery he has bowled so far nice to picked up from the meat of the bat once again toward the mid wicket boundary a big monster six for Khalid Kale the two sixes behind was really picked up by the field bowler and it was now once again a bad delivery from Lukman projected scores here going at the same rate at around 14 or a shade above 14 runs and over you would be probably targeting somewhere around 150 150 plus score and it's going to be a daunting task for this cambodian team to you know get their heads in and come out all guns blazing they did manage to get a little bit of big hits against kuwait yesterday or last afternoon they do appear to be quite solid in terms of batting but it's just that the tempo of the innings at which oman are scoring at the moment is something very very hard to match at the moment well i think they are uh, trying to get experience playing those matches especially asia cricket council once again try to pull it take the bottom part of the bat straight to the third man and get single he had targeted short ball from lukman but and now he's finally going back to his de facto tactic of generating pace off the deck yesterday afternoon he was quite adept with the conditions loved bowling on the wicket at oval number 1 but on this occasion 
He's just left wanting. Have a look at that well-directed shot ball right at the helmet. And that's probably the best place to bowl whenever you have your backs against the wall. Now it's going to be Rafiola. And this man can certainly hit. And he's been sent out there with a specific, specific purpose. And that's to get going from ball number one. Already got a couple of boundaries in the previous on the last two deliveries of the previous over. Only time will tell, of course, whether he can get going against Lukman. But well, I think all the Omani batters have been coming he, into the wicket to go for the maximum runs. This time he was beaten. Lucky not to get through the bat. Yeah, have a look at that. Just once again, keeping it shortly, short of good length. But then with Rafiullah just trying to swing his bat all over the place, it's always going to be very difficult unless he does connect. If he connects, it's going to be a big monstrous hit. Full this time, full toss, airs it high up in the air and no, it's just going to fall on the other side of Salvin who does not manage to grab that opportunity in process it's going to be a couple of runs conceded in this over so very very expensive over by Lukman but coming to an end 10 overs done it's 139 for 5 Oman at the moment Yeah, that's the field now. The very last over of this innings, you've got a long off. You've got somebody at deep extra cover. You've got the long on also heading back towards the fence. The deep mid-wicket cow corner is heading back towards the fence. Deep square leg. So a pretty defensive field here, but then it's not going to matter because they have probably decided... They've decided to go for the slower bowler. Radella is going to be Vimukti Viraj Radella with the ball in hand. Off spinner against the right hander. Khalid Kale punches down the ground. Slightly aerial, but then the protection out there in the deep will only ensure that it's going to be a single. This is going to be an exciting contest here. Yeah? That last ball of the previous over. Just trying to go for the big heave here. But Salvin, Stanley just making a mess of things. Not managing to get a good hold of it. Radella to continue. Once again onto the back foot. Played out towards the extra cover. So whatever target we're expecting, 150 around is almost, they are touching out. Well, especially in 11 over game, no target is too big, no target is too small. Both teams come out with the same intentions. Not managing to get a hold of that one again. Khalid Kale, it's going to be only a single. So struggling to find the boundaries due to the lack of pace that Vimukti is providing. Well, one of the best over, I think, so far we have seen three only three singles on three deliveries. Charging down the track this time around. Gets the aerial shot. Finally, the elevation that Rafiullah was looking for. Gets a maximum to his name on the fourth delivery of the over. Good striking here from the Omani batters all throughout. Well, of course, all the batters have done their job well, what they were asked to do from the coaches. Of course, not to forget the blistering knock from Naseem Kushi. And now it's Rafiullah showing his muscles. He is a delightful striker of the ball. Loves coming down the order and especially with the chips against Oman. Or whenever they have their backs against the wall, they would always look at Rafiullah to score a few quick runs. Charging down the track, slower one, flighted delivery. But what a result here for Rafiullah. It's a monstrous hit. I think they're going to be looking at getting another ball, if I'm not mistaken. This one was absolutely belted out of the park. Yes, feel full force behind him. Look at that one. Now nicely picked it up. Moving down the wicket. It's going, 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 going there. 
So the target almost achieved by Oman, what we were talking about, I mean. Very last delivery of this innings, 154 is what they've managed so far. Tries to go for the big heave, but no, all he manages to do is play it all over himself. Radella will be heading back into the duckout with a chuckle because Rafiola will be dismissed. What a ball, manages to keep it within stumps. And all you might want to think about is where was this delivery all along in this Cambodian innings. Some success for Vimukti Radella after those big monstrous sixes that Rafiola has treated viewers and spectators alike in this innings and heading back into the dugout with a big, big ask here, Oman at the moment, 154 for six at the moment at the end of the first innings. That's the batting card here, match number nine, Oman versus Cambodia, where Cambodia put in Oman to bat. Kashyap Kumar Prajapati got going, but then had to depart, courtesy some good bowling by Shawan. Mohamed Naseem Kushi, 69 of 27 deliveries, and that's going to be the story of the day so far. Arke Bilyas did manage to get a little bit of a start, one big six, but then had to depart. Another good delivery by Shawan. Zishan Maksud could not get going. Ayan Khan also got into the act. Double figures for him, 16 of seven. Khalid Kale and Rafiula then came, toward, uh, came out towards the end, punching and punching hard. 19 of nine, 23 of eight for Khalid Kale and Rafiula, respect. Effectively, 154 for six with just two extras in this innings of 11 overs. Talking about the bowling card, it was Sherwin who got two wickets of 25 runs, and equally, Utkarsh Jain also got two for 26. And last but not the more, it was Mukti who got two for 32. Six wicket down, 154 for six, Oman, 11 overs with two extras. Yeah, and that's the highlight straight away. It's going to be Kashyap Kumar Prajapati is that first monstrous six just to get going, make a big statement. And then, of course, there was Naseem Kushi as well. But then Kashyap Kumar Prajapati was the first one to depart. Some excellent catching, especially by Etienne Bukes. What a catch that was at backward point. But then Naseem Kushi starting off with a very, very sedate boundary towards the point boundary and then that lofted six down the ground after that it was just power show Arke Bilyas was out there to bat he had a little bit of fun a big six and a boundary to his name but then had to depart courtesy some accurate bowling by Shawan who knew how to pick up wickets on this sort of a surface the slower bowlers were introduced and all they could see was the ball flying towards the boundary ropes, some big monstrous hits from the bat of Naseem Kushi. Left-hander Zishan Maksud then contributed to a few hits but then had to depart. Didn't contribute much. Cute shots being played by Naseem Kushi. So he was actually playing all over the place. 360 degrees was his method of operation. Finally dancing down the track and then he had to head back for a well-made 69. Left-hander Ayan Khan also had to depart. Khalid Kale and Rafiola then had the onus on them to try and probably up the ante to get that extra few runs, those extra boundaries in so that the total can be as daunting as possible for Cambodia to come out and fetch. Towards the end, of course, it was the Rafiola show. 20 odd runs in as just little as 8 deliveries in 11 over game. He's always going to be a very very handy utility batter so that's pretty much it from this particular innings of course we do know that Cambodia had won the toss and told Oman to post up a total and a total they have posted for sure a commanding total 155 runs are needed from 66 balls for Cambodia in order to register a win to their name the required run rate is hovering around just a shade above 14 runs and over more on this match, of course, we are going to be taking a short break, but more of this cheese and some antics by Cambodia as well as this Oman spirited side. Do stay tuned, stay connected.
Match day number three of the ACC Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. Oman is locking horns with Cambodia. Yes, the home side is going to be defending a massive, massive target that they have posted against Cambodia. What a wonderful batting display have they posted. 155 is what Cambodia will need in 66 deliveries. Yes, it's a rain-affected game and it's still overcast conditions. And this is what is going to make things difficult for Cambodia because the quality of bowling attack that Oman possesses is never going to make things for Cambodia. Joining me in the com box is going to be Jamil Zaidi. Jamil, why, what do you think? Cambodia standing a chance? Well, Herculeus task for Cambodia to come up. 155 is really a really very daunting task for Cambodia. They have not been exposed to so such situation before first time they have been visiting Oman and going for such a big total definitely it will be a Herculean task for the Cambodians to come up to 155 runs 14.09 run rate is required per over. Love the, love the weather here in Oman. It's been overcast for the first two days on this, on this occasion. It did pour in the morning, but yet we have some quality display of cricket here at the Oman Cricket Academy. Oday is saying Hatin Jar is going to be the one facing the first delivery. He's got 10 in the first game, and the strike rate and average is something that he will look to. Atinger and joining him will be Ram Rosh and Sharan. It'll be a difficult one for Cambodia because the likes of Bilal Khan is going to be opening the attack. So much of experience behind his back. A lot of franchise cricket around the world and he's been one of those wanted figures in the world of cricket. The left arm pacer does swing the ball and he has a very smart, intelligent brain. Absolutely, yes. Bilal Khan is one of the pick of the ballers for Oman for so many years. So he has been asked to come for some franchises also. Recently back to Bangladesh as well. So obviously, he has that it stink. Bilal Khan and there's a big swing. And this ball is going to be traveling. There will be a stop required and it's going to be Khalid Kale and Mehran Khan. The pair able to restrict the boundary here. So the intent is clear from Cambodia as well. They are going to be going after this target. And this is brilliant signs if you're a Cambodian fan. Well, I think the right thing they have done, intents are there. They are looking for the runs. And that's about the best way to do. Chasing a total of 155 is obviously a very, very difficult task for them. But the intention is absolutely clear from the very first ball he has played. Oh, they sing. Pace, pace on offer. Yes, it was a full toss. It was swinging into the pads. And Uday not make, able to make an impact. He will get off strike with a run of the leg by. Yes. Under the conditions at the moment, we have it overcast at the moment. Slight sun is shining out. We have a lot of friends in the morning. Heads off to the curator and the groundsman to clear the ground for this match. And of course, the next match number two to be played after this match. Things makes easy for them to bring everything back into the beautiful Oman Cricket Academy building. This one struck. And this one struck well. There is protection in the deep. Third has come into the circle and Longhana has been pushed back. And quick running between the wicket will allow them to get two. So runs are continuing to flow and they're coming in terms of running between the wickets. Yes, I think intentions are there. Good running between the wickets. They make one into two. They must look for some mighty sixes and boundaries. A directed would have been very interesting here. Ram Sharan and Uday Singh. 
the opening partners for Cambodia. Looking to hit through the line, Bilal Khan. Big, big, big heave, not going anywhere. This is from the bat of Ramshar and he's not able to make that impact that moment the Seem Kushi provided in the first innings. Well, they will try to generate as much as they can. That was outside the off stump, moving away from the batter. He didn't move from his place for now. Just look at standing and playing. Could have been a little forward towards the offside. This is a very important phase in the match. It's the power play. The first three overs play a very crucial role. Shot, cut, cut well. And this ball is going to be falling just short of the boundary, in my opinion. Or it's travelled all the way. The Empire suggests it travels all the way. So maximum coming from the bat of Ramsharan. Look at that. Confidently open the face of the bat. Upper cut over the third man boundary. The first maximum for Cambodia. Look at that one. How nicely he has played with the confidence. So first maximum for Cambodia. Beautiful, beautiful strike coming from the bat of Ramsharan. Never look to keep it down using the pace of Bilal Khan. And this is some brilliant start for Cambodia. 11 of the over so far and a ball to go. Even if they're able to hang on around the required run rate, it will do them some good. Coming from the inside part of the bat, they will get a single to end that over from Bilal Khan. So 12 runs on the board for Cambodia without losing a wicket at the end of the first over. It is going to be the pace of Fayaz Bhatt that is going to be joining the swing of Bilal Khan. And Fayaz Bhatt is going to be coming in from the Wadi end. He's lethally quick. Coming in from 10 yards ahead of the 30-yard circle. He's a skiddy customer and loves to bowl the short delivery. Oh, that's criminal. That is criminal in any form, in any format. This is criminal. The in-swinger, it was a short delivery. And it's going to be five free runs for Cambodia. And they will take it with a smile on their face. It was too much down to the leg side. Not a good ball from Fiyaz, but... And it was not even contained by the wicketkeeper as well. So five bonus runs for Cambodia on the very first delivery from Fiyaz, but... Not a great start, not a great start for Fayaz, but he's a brilliant bowler. Shot, and the ball is hurrying on to the bat of Ram Sharan. He's a quick bowler. Clock somewhere between 135, 140. One of the quicker bowlers in the Yaman ranks. Does ball a heavy deliveries. He loves to use the length, and his speciality is when he goes short. His quality is bowling slightly short with the pace and, of course, movement of the wicket. That's the area where he's very, very, very experienced. Try to get the wickets in the early stages of the game, as used to Bilal Khan has done. Variations will come on offer. Shot. And this one's travelling towards the long leg. Will require some stopping and it will be the deep square leg, which will cut it off at long leg. Two runs in the process for Cambodia. Moving on to 19. They need a wicket here, Oman. And that's going to be a part of the process because the intent is there for Cambodia and I love this intent from Cambodia. They're looking to go after the target. They're not looking to get bogged down. It's a massive total. No two thoughts about it. It's a no-brainer. 155.
try to smash it out, beaten outside the office term. Yes, the intents are absolutely brilliant as far as the Cambodia is concerned. They're not too bad, 19 and second over in progress, especially Sharon, who looks to be in a good touch, seeing that beautiful six years hit. Back of line, the pace of Fayaz but comes into play. This is, he's lethal. If you're not used to facing such kind of pace, he could be a difficult customer to deal with. Fayaz Bhatt, Ahmed Fayaz Bhatt, coming out from the ranks of under-19 cricket of Pakistan. Struck, struck well. There is protection at mid-off. And a good throw could have had Ram Sharan walking back to the dugout. They were looking for a quick single to start off with, but it was Akib Ilyas at mid-off who was charging it. Yeah, they had to wait. Look at that beautiful return from Akib Ilyas, and he was uh, inches away. Could have been gone. But they are trying. One thing for now is very obvious. that They're really coming up with a mindset to go for the runs, and that's what they are doing now. Fairs, but got his recognition in the under-19 ranks for Pakistan when he got the wicket of KL Rahul and few more Indian batters at the World Cup. That's quick and that's hurried on. It's going to fall just short of Akib Ilyas at mid-off. The pace of Fayaz Bhatt has come into play and it is making things difficult for Cambodia at the moment. Eight runs from five deliveries for him so far. Lifting delivery. With the pace, of course, it's difficult for the batter to hit with the full force. Fell down between the two fielders. Falling just short of Akib Ilyas. Would have loved to see a dive in from Akib Ilyas. That's exactly what Fayaz Bhatt was indicating. Go in for the dive. This time, once again, Played it out towards the short mid wicket for one. Good over from Fayaz, but so far. Nine runs of that over from Fayaz, but two overs done. 21 for no loss, Cambodia. The wonderful Al Hajar Mountains surrounding the Oman Cricket Academy. It's picturesque. One of the most picturesque grounds that I've commentated on. Look at those ranges. The mountainous ranges surrounding the Oman Cricket Academy. And Mehran Khan will come into the attack. The swing of Mehran Khan is in attack. And this is not going to be easy for Cambodia because he's a tricky customer. With the keeper standing up, the in-swing and out-swing of Mehran Khan will always look to make things difficult for them. Look at that one onto the back foot, but brilliant is stopped. Could have been a boundary. Well fielded. Ayan Khan, he's always busy at backward point. Swung, swung away from the right-hander. This is exactly what Mehran Khan does, and he does that for bread and butter. An experienced bowler, and he's always looking to make things difficult. Moving away from the batter, the all mighty swings at it, but missed completely straight to the keeper. This is what the quality of Mehran Khan. He's a slow, medium pacer, moving the ball off the wicket and in there as well. And he understands his limitations. He has a deep square leg in position. He has a long on. And rarely he will move out of his position. And he's got, he's gifted with the wicket. Zishan Maksud, the entertaining Zishan Maksud, will come into play at mid-off. And he will hold on to that chance from Ram Sharan's bat. Ram Sharan is going to be departed of a very good delivery from Mehran Khan. Yes, he tried to clear the ground over the extra cover. But... 
it is entertaining as you correctly said the shan maksud got off to a simple catch so first wicket down for cambodia 22 for one as ram sharan walks back for 12 of 11 deliveries Mehran Khan does bowl that difficult length and if you don't pick the swing whether it is in or out it's going to be tough times the captain comes into the middle look man but he'll have a very crucial role to play even if Cambodia are to get even a little bit closer to the target of Oman what a shot what a shot especially when you have just walked into probably falling just short of the boundary on the very first delivery that lukman faces he's willing to give it some air yes outside just a nicely played over the cover point boundary it looks to be in good touch lukman the very first delivery it was outside the off stump and nicely played over the cover point boundary yes falling just short of the boundary at point lukman but has come with the intent short and cut once again there is a yan khan there in that position and he is play specially for that shot something that you get with mehran khan is variations in his armory does love to swing the ball both ways and he'll not move from that spot the good length area never looking to come close to the batter once again flashes out played it out back to the bowler so a good over from mehran khan over number 3 has gone it is 26 for one cambodia One, two, three, four, and five. So five circles indicating that power play number two is in action, and Oman will have a lot of relief with the high back lift of Cambodian batters. Yes, they have a lot of runs, a lot of protection on the board already. The captain comes into the attack, Zishan Maksud, the left arm spinner. he's one of the top ranking all rounders in the world tell us something more about that jamil bhai the first delivery hit hit brewer did you over to the long on boundary you we'll have to whether it was been saved or not umpire has to check it something that has come up with the oman side is the fitness level the agility level and that's exactly what akib elias is presenting hit through the line and quick sprint pushing the ball inside the playing area and then going out and immediately it was ayan khan who was there to support to recover the ball back to the keeper akebelias is the fielder there the star all rounder he might come into play with the ball as well it's a touch and go it'll be interesting to see when does he lose the ball that's where he loses the ball probably so runs are signaled that means cambodia will get just two runs and akebelias have certainly saved two runs yeah definitely great effort this looks to the commitment of the players Once again, heaved it up beautifully, right from the middle of the bat, and it's a monster six counter attack by Cambodia. 
Odai saying, Odai saying, remember that name. Because he has come here to prove a point. If Omani batters can do it, I can do it as well. Fly from Zishan Maksud in the arc of Odai Singh and he's hit it straight down the ground. The most important part being short selection, choosing and making sure that he hits it straight. There is very little turn on offer on this wicket. And if you're hitting somebody with the likes of Zishan Maksud straight down the ground, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Odai Singh. Brave, brave effort from Ojay. Brilliantly hit right from the middle of the bat. It was a slightly slighter delivery. Fired it in on this occasion. Ayan Khan will cover it up at long on. And Odai Singh will get off strike. This is going to be an interesting contest. C captain was his captain. Zishan Maksud was his Lukman, but. Lukman Bhatt has come with a clear intent. The very first delivery that he faced went for a boundary. What can he offer against Ishan Maksud? The arm ball to begin with, and Lukman is looking to be careful at, on this occasion. He looks to be the most experienced player in the Cameroonian side. The way he bowled the ball, he came and bat. This time swept, swept well. But the fielder is there to protect the boundary. Call it Kale. The feeling of Oman has been top notch in this particular tournament so far. They've worked hard, really very hard over the past few years under the leadership of Mr. Dilip Mendes. Struck and struck well on the leg side. Call it Kale will cover it up. So four overs gone, a brilliant over from Zishan Maksud after that six. 37 for one, Cambodia. Mehran Khan bowling that hard length, coming in for the second over. The first one, five runs and a wicket to his name. It was the last over of the power play. And he's going to be continuing from the hockey stadium end. Struck, struck well. It's found the gap. And runs continue to flow. What do you do if you're a Cambodian dugout player? The required run rate is around 17. Things look out of achievement at the moment, but shots are being offered by the Cambodian side. And this is wonderful signs if you're a cricket fan, if you're a Cambodian cricket fan, because they're just developing. It's brilliantly hit. It was short, picked up beautifully towards the cow corner. This time he bowled it. It was the slowest delivery. He bowled, change of pace, and Uday has no clue to that. Clean bowled by Mehran Khan. This is something that you get with Mehran Khan, free of cost. The experience of Mehran Khan. He's never going to be looking to move out of that area around the good length. You might go after him on a couple of occasions, but he will continue to strike. He is here to make the damage. Second wicket to Mehran Khan, and it is going to be Uddai Singh, who is going to be walking back for 18 of 11 deliveries. A boundary and a maximum to his name, but he is going to be departing back as the second wicket for Cambodia. Radella 
Rodella has come to the middle. The number seven for Cambodia. Vimukti Viraj Rodella. And he will be immediately under the pump. The required rate in excess of 17. And Mehran Khan is bowling a wonderful line here. Away swinger, play and a miss from Vimukti Radela. What a wonderful wicket that was from Mehran Khan. It started off with pitching it just outside the off stump, angling into the stumps. And Uday made a mess of it. Initially was looking to make room and try to target the off, off side. And made, at the last, very last second, it was Mehran Khan who angled it in, not giving any opportunity, any chance to Uday whatsoever. Such an important part of the Oman national cricket team, Mehran Khan. He's a power hitter, does hit the long ball, but especially when he's with the ball in his hand, looks to bowl those hard lengths, bowls those difficult overs, and keeps things tight. Once again, in the middle of the stumps, played it out towards the deep mid-wicket boundary. And one more run to the total end of our number five. It will be 42 for two, Cambodia. Sure. Akebilias will come into the attack. The leg spinner, the mystery spinner of Oman. And he will look to keep it out of the arc of Rodella at the moment. These wonderful visuals from the Oman Cricket Academy are of the Men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. That was the flipper from Akebilias. Slog swept. There is a fielder trying to come underneath it and he will not be able to hold on. He's made a mess of it. Khalid Kael at deep square leg. And Akebilias is not too impressed of it. Alongside me is Amin Wagle, who's joining in with the drop catch. Slog swept, never in control. And no chance whatsoever. This time just punched towards the covers. And yes, of course, it's been a very, very good first five overs as far as Cambodia and Oman are concerned, both trying to claw themselves into the competition and trying to close the game in their own ways, have different motives altogether. Big shot once again. It's high. It's mighty. A fielder is interested. Kashyap Kumar Prajapati will manage to pouch that. He's one of the safest hands out there in the deep for this Oman side as Vimukti Radella will have to head back into the hut, trying and trying very hard to make some sense of the daunting asking rate of over 20 runs and over. So Cambodia lose their third wicket, and that's good to see some good, smart bowling and field placement. Ake Bilyas in the hunt. They're looking to force things, and the class of Kashyap Kumar Prajapati is never going to be dropping something as easy as that. So that wonderful catch will make sure that Vimukti Radela is going to be departing and he's not troubled the scorers a lot. Two for six for him. 44 on the board for Cambodia and they've lost their third. Yes, of course, Newman in is going to be Etienne Bukes, who's had a good day in the field, but then he's not going to have a good day with the bat in hand. What a jaffa of a delivery. First up to Etienne Bukes, and Nake Bilyas has managed to pick up a second wicket in succession. And that's a good way to bounce back into the match. The fourth wicket falls. 
That's a delivery that he's added to his armory in the past few months, the googly. And no chance whatsoever for the batter. Bukes was castled and he was castled by the class of Archibelias of the very first delivery. So golden, duke for, golden duck for Bukes and Archibelias is going to be on a hat trick. What over he is having first up, Archibillas, five deliveries into this over. You've only conceded two runs, picked up two wickets, and especially Radella and Bukes, because now what has actually happened is Bukes is coming off some good form in the previous game against Kuwait. He was probably one of the only batters who was going big guns. And bowled him, and Archibillas has managed to get a hat-trick. Absolute scenes here at oval number two in the Oman Cricket Academy. ACC Men's Premier Cup 2024 has been set ablaze. Two back-to-back -back days of excellent, excellent performances, individual achievements all around. It was the leg spinner to start off, the googly to follow. On this occasion, it is the googly to follow off. And the inside edge from the bat of Shravan is going to be castling him back. But more Importantly, it is Archibillas who's picked up a hat-trick, the very first for him here at the Oman Cricket Academy. What a moment it is for his family and his friends and the Oman Cricket Team fans. Shravan Godera is going to be walking back without disturbing the scorers. A golden duck for him as well and a moment of excellence for Archibillas. Zishan Maksud, after Archibillas has just check, check, check. caused havoc in that Cambodian side. Three back-to-back -back wickets, a hat-trick in this men's Premier Cup T20 2024. And a couple of big, big individual performances here for the teams that are taking part in this good tournament. Zishan Maksud now... The captain of the Oman side will want to close things off as soon as possible. Yes, of course, it's just an 11-over game. But Lakshad Gupta has an uphill task ahead of him. Difficult times, difficult times, difficult times for Cambodia. A hat-trick to Akabilias. This is going to be the talk of the town this evening. The homeboy has struck gold against Cambodia. Zishan Maksud. Dancing down the track. This has got some good bat onto it, but it's a lot of height in my opinion. And the fielder at deep mid-wicket, who else can it be other than Ake Bilyas? He's in the mix of things and he is making things happen here at the Oman Cricket Academy. Yes, yeah, certainly. Some big, big confidence boosting performances as far as individual efforts are concerned have been put out there. Naseem Kushi with the bat in hand and then now Archibillas with the bowl in hand. Captain Zishan Maksud also joining the party. They've been ticking all the right boxes here. They've done their batting right, they've done their bowling right and now it's about time that they're fielding as well steps up to the plate. So Lakshad Gupta departs, hasn't scored much, goes for a knot and 45 for 7 Cambodia. Selvin Stanley is the new batter and he is going to be walking in just when Cambodia requires 24 plus runs per over. Yeah, that asking rate is probably going to be creeping or leaping rather up every dot delivery just like that. 24.44 in the previous 
delivery, which went for a dot, and now it's going to be 25.38. So Cambodia now really reeling under pressure at the moment. Cuts. There is a field out there in the deep, so it's going to be only a single year. Comfortable single, as a matter of fact. From here onwards, Cambodia would be wanting Lukman Bat to hog most of the strike because he's been in the thick of things with the bat in the previous game with Kuwait as well. Scored a gritty knock. He has the shots in him as well. What do you do if you're captain Lukman Bat? Continue to play your shots. Lock swept. There is a fielder in the deep. And he will keep strike for the next over. What a wonderful over from Zishan. Three runs of it and a wicket to his name. 47 for 6 at the end of 7, Cambodia. So that's the hat trick. It started with the leg spinner that was caught in the deep by Kashyap Kumar Prajapati. And immediately it was the googly that came into play. He would have enjoyed it. That's the ball he's developed. And once again, the googly coming, getting the inside edge of the batter and castling the stumps. Yes, he had to thank the Lord for providing him that hat trick. And then came the celebration with the captain, the vice captain and the captain celebrating. What wonderful visuals do we have here at the Oman Cricket Academy? It is the men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. And this is an exciting tournament. Okay, Bilyas, once again, just following up with that successful over. It's going to be the eighth over now of the innings. That required run rate creeping above 25 runs and over 27.91, as a matter of fact, to be precise. Okay, Bilyas figures three wickets for three runs and can't get better than that, especially in an 11-over contest just like this one. Big shot, big heave towards the onside is going to be just a single or a couple of runs, single as a matter of fact. Such a potential player. And he's just building. He's growing in stature for the Oman team. Slog swept once again. There is protection in the deep. Kashyap Kumar Prajapati has been busy at deep mid-wicket all afternoon here at the Oman Cricket Academy. It's been an overcast day. It has been a rain-affected match. 11 overs aside. And Oman have dominated this game. In style, castling the stumps once again. The fourth wicket for Archibillas. He is making a misery of this Cambodian side. Adding salt to injury. As Salvin Stanley just plays this one all over himself. Flight to delivery once again in the slot. Playing the wrong line, Salvin Stanley. And Archibillas doesn't miss quite accurate on most occasions. Disturbs the woodwork. So another untimely dismissal here and it's going to be of Salvin Stanley who has to head back to the pavilion for just two or four deliveries that's the seventh wicket down for Cambodia 50 for the loss of seven Arke Bilyas for you last match he was the man man of the match for Oman because of his batting on this occasion he's standing up tall with the ball in his hand Four wickets to his name, and he's taken that wonderful catch at deep mid wicket as well. Utkarsh Jain comes into the middle. I believe the required run rate is in excess of 30, and Cambodia will just look to be. Oh, that's a drop catch. This could have been the fifth, and it's from the hands of the captain Zishan Maksud. Akebilias has his hands on his head. And Zishan Maksud can smile it out. That ball was travelling and it was barely any time for reaction. Yeah, once again, that flight to delivery does a little bit of deviation from the deck. And that's probably what Utkash Jain was surprised with. Takes a big slash and of course, that edge was travelling very, very fast because that slash from Utkash Jain was really hard. So a boundary now for him to get off the mark. Flight delivery once again and just played on. So it's going to be a very quiet end to the over, but then it was a very successful over. Spoiling the figures was that boundary, but then 8 overs done, 54 for 7 Cambodia at the moment.
Steady fall of wickets here for Cambodia and Bilal Khan with the ball in hand. And he'll be looking to close out this innings on a high. 54 for 7. With just that single now being taken. More often than not, you would really want Lukman Bhatt to face majority of the strike. Utkash Jain has got a boundary to the very first delivery that he has faced so far. Joining me in the com box, of course, is going to be Jamil Zedi. And what a top performance here by the Oman bowling unit. Absolutely, yes. Especially Aki has got a dream hat-trick at this stage of the tournament. Slightly back of length, just worked away towards the onside. At the moment, what Cambodia would be looking to do is just see how the overs try and take measure and try and get a feel of what playing a top side like Oman is at the moment. Well, I think they have not got that experience which normally other teams do have. Maybe the first Unki outing in the Gulf area and definitely things will not have been in the favor of them. But anyhow, the experience definitely will take out from Oman for the next tournament or next stage of the game. This is shot brilliantly pulled away over the mid-wicket boundary. What a magnificent shot it was. Yes, absolutely. And Lukman Bhatt has been the pick of the batters, pick of the bowlers, and rather just the top performer for this Cambodian side. Have a look at that shot and picked it up really, really well. Early anticipation that the shot ball was coming, not directed towards the head. It was slightly going away from the off stump. So he probably wanted to take his chances here, Lukman But Played a gritty knock in that match against Kuwait last afternoon. And he's backing it up. Once again goes the aerial route. Slashes hard towards the offside. The fielders might be interested for a bit. And surprisingly, it just fails to be converted into a boundary. Just a couple of runs. Much to the liking of Bilal Khan and much not to the liking of Lukman But Well, it was the edge of the bat. It has come up. Ball was in the air for so many times. And the, the, the ground outside is a bit soggy at the moment. Couldn't travel through the boundary. Big shot down the ground. And Lukman Bhatt is certainly making intentions very clear that he's not going down without a fight. What a shot. And that too of one of the most premier bowlers of this Oman national team set up, Bilal Khan. And things are going to be really looking good. Absolutely. Spot on. Brilliant hit by Lukman. He looks to be the most experienced batter. And the baller also, as far as the community is concerned. Look at that, how nicely it's picked up right in front of the wicket. Over to the long on for the maximum. Second maximum hitting Bilal Khan is, of course, a good part of it. Certainly packs a punch. And, of course, this one will just have to be negotiated in the least possible way. So, Bilal Khan ends this over with the dot delivery, but it's been expensive and he'll not be pleased with that, just spoiling his figures. 27 for no wickets in his two overs. So nine overs are done, 70 for the loss of seven wickets, Cambodia. There's fall of the wickets for Cambodia. One for 22, two for 41, three for 44, four for 44, five for 44. They saw the hat trick. Yeah, an extended run to Archibillas now, especially because he's got that brilliant performance with the ball. Trying to do something with the bat as well, and that's something that he's well known for. His primary trade is the batting that he does, quite a maverick at that. And trying to be a very, very effective all-rounder with the kind of bowls that he bowls. Bowls a decent leg cutter, bowls a decent legs break bowler. Can always bowl those googlies against the left-handers. So makes him a complete performer, an all-rounder in true sense of the word. This time pulled it up over the mid-wicket boundary. But the failure is there. What a fantastic figures Akibiyas has got. Just almost three overs gone, four for ten. Brilliant spell from him. 
tossed it up just takes the outside edge no run yeah and probably the cambodian batters might be just wanting to see off this over without any more casualties it just looks a really really poor score card at the moment for cambodia charging down the track managing to get a single so the strike will be rotated lukman but probably seems to be the more adept person and the more right person to be on strike for majority of the seven remaining deliveries of the innings the lone batter from cambodia gives him a resistance to man this time pulled it up beautifully once again look at that shot picked up right from the middle of the bat over to the long on boundary for another maximum yeah captain lukman but leading from the front and what a strike and a half that is tossed up and the moment that ball was in his arc lukman but's eyes nearly lit up and he helps himself to a maximum so good end to the over 10 overs gone 79 for the loss of 7 wickets cambodia So to complete the formalities the last over has been handed over to Ayan Khan and he'll want to have a go at the right-handed batters especially the likes of Lukman but and in the whole scheme of things there was a slight bit of mix up Lukman but really wanted to get back on strike and just up the tempo a little bit possibly go back into that dressing room with their heads held slightly higher feeling positive got and it's cut well i think it's beat the fielder it's not rather it's going to be nasim kushi is going to do a little bit of clean up but a couple of runs will be scored and will be credited to the account of lukman bat well lone battle from lukman bat for cambodia played some maximum beautiful shots in his 34 still batting on on to the back foot this time straight to the fielder still positives here for cambodia even though this match has not gone their way 82 for 7 in 11 over game is not a mean feat and especially against this quality bowling attack that oman possesses some of the big shots have come against the likes of bilal khan and ahmed fayaz but that was a plus point charging down the track a big big shot towards the on side and once again it's going to be a massive massive six here so lukman but inching towards that 50 run figure of course he's got that gritty knock to boast off in the previous encounter and now he's scored a 20 ball 40 so certainly some impetus for them well look at it come down the wicket from the meat of the bat once again it pulled it away beautifully it was short of the length but straight to the fielder at deep square leg boundary It was a magnificent batting from Lukman, but shows that Cambodia has got some batters who can bat on for the next matches they are coming to play for. Oh, absolutely! The efforts in the previous encounter against Kuwait was an indication of things to come for Cambodia, and they certainly have the players and the capabilities and the caliber to do well in the future. But not on this occasion because. with that single being taken its curtains for this particular encounter where oman have certainly triumphed over cambodia by a healthy margin of 63 runs 91 for 7 is what cambodia end their 11 overs with and handshakes all around
the guys in blue will be humbled. Captain Lukman Bud, the lone warrior out there in the center, remaining unbeaten for a well-made 41 of 21. But on the other hand, some great individual performances for the men in red. A lot of positives, especially for the tall man, Nasim Kushi, who played a blitzkrieg of an innings up top in that batting innings. And then, of course, that form of Arke Bilyas, the true all-rounder in every sense of the word with the ball, with the bat, finding form, finding his way and trying to be a champion cricketer for their side. So, there's nothing much to talk about for the batting except the lone battle from Lukman, but who scored 41 of 20 fun deliveries and remains not out. The other two batters who got double figures is Uday Singh got 18 of 11 and Ram Sharon got 12 of 11. None of the batsmen come up with some double figures. It was 91 for 7 in 11 overs with the 8 extras with a thumping victory for Oman. Yeah, and that's pretty much the story about the bowling efforts from Oman and it's been good so far. Bilal Khan has bowled his two overs but he's went for plenty, nearly 13 and a half runs per over. So 27 for zero is not going to look good on his resume. Nine for zero for Ahmad Fayaz but just that one over that was provided to him. For me, I think the pick of the bowlers was Mehran Khan because when the batters of Cambodia were going great guns, it was him who picked up that crucial wicket in the middle. Two for ten is what his figures read like. Zishan Maksud picked up a wicket and of course that big name over there, Akib Ilya Saleri, 4 for 17 in his three overs, and that's going to be the highlight of the day. Ayan Mohammed Khan, Ayan Khan rather, as he's popularly known, just bowled that one over, that last over, he went for 12 runs. With the help of eight extras, they conceded 91 runs and for Cambodia. And of course, that's the highlights. Bilal Khan getting a little bit of treatment up top. Some big, powerful hittings. They certainly knew they had a task at hand, but then that first wicket fell really quickly. Mehran Khan was then brought into the attack. He got a little bit of treatment in his first over as well. Zishan Maksud was hit downtown a couple of times. But then finally, Mehran Khan making that breakthrough, that, for, that wicket after which everything was downhill for Cambodia. Ake Bilyas, as soon as he was introduced into the attack, picked up that first wicket where the batter sky did. Etienne Bukes could not read that googly and he played it onto the stumps. And then finally, that third wicket where Shravan Godara played it back onto the stumps. So that completed a hat trick for Ake Bilyas. The story did not end there. Ake Pilyas picked up yet another wicket and he was also involved in a few fielding efforts as well, picking up that skyer off the bowling of Zishan Maksud. Lukman Bhatt then was the highlight in that batting order of Cambodia where he literally took apart each and every bowler, whether it be Ake Pilyas, whether it be Bilal Khan, whether it be Ayan Khan towards the end and managed to show some sort of fight for the Cambodians. So let's go for the match summary. It was Oman who batted first, 154 for six. Some brilliant batting from Oman, Nasim Kushi, blistering knock of 69 of just 27 deliveries. Rafiullah, 23 of eight deliveries at Khalid Kale, 19 of nine. It was Uttarakar Chash, Jain who got two for 26. Sharam, Sharwan got two for 25. And Viraj Radela got two for 32. Chasing their target, it was 91 for 7. Cambodia in 11 overs with Lukman, but heading the batting for Cambodia, 41 not out of 21 deliveries. It was Aki Bilyas who got the first hat trick of the tournament, got 4 for 17 of 3 overs. Veran Khan, 2 for 10 for 2 overs, and Dishan Maksud, 1 for 14. Oman won the match by 63 runs. So that's a good result for Roman at the moment, securing the next set of two points in this big men's T20 Premier Cup 2024. We'll head for a short break, but then I think that's it from us at in the com box. After the break, we'll have our co-commentators Pranav Mehta with the post-match presentation ceremony. Stay tuned.
Check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Oh, oh, oh. Let me call them. <laughs> check, check, check. Good afternoon and welcome to the post-match presentation of the ACC Men's Premier Cup 2024. Before we begin, we would like to thank the Asian Cricket Council and the Oman Cricket for hosting this wonderful T20 Cricket Tournament here in the heart of Muscat in the Al Amrath Oman Cricket Academy. We would also like to thank our sponsors, official streaming partner India, Fancode, official broadcast partner Nepal, Kantipur TV, official partners Dafa News, 1x bat babu 88 sports commercial partners none other than tcm in the ninth league match of this tournament oman have defeated cambodia by a massive mammoth 63 runs it was a rain curtailed match 11 overs aside and what a big margin to win for oman the home side commencing ahead i would like to first call the losing captain lukman but Lukman, चीजें चल नहीं रही हैं। आ जाओ, कैमरा देखो, आपके फैंस हैं। चीजें चल नहीं रही हैं आपके हिसाब से। जी, ये हमारी टीम अभी रिसेंटली स्ट्रगल कर रही है, इन्शाल्लाह। तो जो इधर मिस्टेक कर रहे हैं, कोशिश करेंगे नेक्स्ट ये गलतियों को कवर करेंगे, इन्शाल्लाह। आगे क्या देखने मिलेगा हमें इस ट no, it was okay. The weather was a bit rainy weather, so I thought I would get a sport in the bowling. But the team was good in the team. Hard luck and best of luck for the future. Thank you. Next, the captain, the local hero, the entertaining, Zeeshan Maksud, the captain of the Oman national cricket team. The entertaining captain, that's how we like to address him. Zeeshan, things working for you? Yeah, definitely. The way the boys are playing, it's... I, you know, have full and uh, honor for me and uh, like the ways, like you can see how Nishim Kushi, has, he has batted and uh, keeps a uh, hat trick, you know, and bowlers are bowling very well. One question that everybody wants to know about, using Pratik Athavli as a specialist wicketkeeper and using Nasim Khushi as a specialist batter, it's worked and it's just come in into this tournament. Prior to that, it was Nasim Khushi was, was holding the gloves. Yeah, definitely because uh, you can do uh, right now the changes and if uh, works for you know for the team that we have to do and the management and your yeah, coaches they have to think uh, we should go like that so definitely we are we are backing uh, each other so that is how we are working right now and uh, if somebody is getting the chance and he is uh, performing uh, in the center that what we want from them congratulations for the win and we are expecting a lot more from you in the future definitely thank you Thank you, thank you, the captain. Next, it is the man of the match. And to present the award first, I would like to invite the match referee, Mr. Prakash Bhatt. Prakash Bhai, welcome. If you have picked up a hat trick in the match, it has to be you as the man of the match. None other than the man who was the man of the match in the previous game, Akib Ilyas. He's making it a habit here at the Oman Cricket Academy. He's going to be receiving the award from Prakash Bhatt. Four for 17 for Akip. Akip, making it a habit. 
Yeah, Alhamdulillah, feels really good to be uh, man of the match back to back. Though I couldn't start it off well in the batting, and you know it was coming in my mind throughout the whole game that I had to get runs for my team. But this is cricket, you know, unfortunately. And when it came to bowling, I kept in the confident in confidence in myself. Actually, got hit on while hitting while playing the sweet shot, and the captain came to me and I said, "Can you bowl?" I said, "Yeah, I can try." He said, "You don't try. You have to get the wickets." So that confidence, you know, yeah, I came in the bowling, and when I took the first wicket, then Alhamdulillah, first hat trick, and. Alhamdulillah. First match, man of the match because of batting. Second match, man of the match because of bowling. Are we going to see third in the fielding department? Yeah, I have to. Fielding is the one you have to do every day. You know, you have to improve in fielding every day. Batting maybe you can't get do really well. Bowling sometimes you can't bowl well. But fielding is something any day you can do better for the team. Final question about the googly. We haven't seen a lot of googly from you in the past. It just came up in the Namibian series, and now you are making it a habit. Both those second and third wicket coming off the googly. Yeah, actually, I used to play a lot of table cricket, and that I used to bowl this googly. And when I, before the Namibia series, you know, I was bowling the practice, and I said I can bowl this one. It's a different googly. So they said try if you can. I bowled two or three good balls, and they said it won't. You won't be able to put it on the right length. I said that's my problem. I will put it on the right length, and Alhamdulillah, I got wickets in Namibia also against them. And today I got two wickets. So, Congratulations, Akib. We are pleased to see the quality of Akib Elias. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pranav. The hero of the Oman national cricket team, Akib Elias. First match with the bat, second match with the ball. Thank you for joining us today. But before we sign off, a reminder for the upcoming clash. It is going to be Hong Kong, China, locking horns with Saudi Arabia, the Gulf country. Don't miss the excitement. To catch all the live excitement, it is. Fan court in India, Kantipur TV in Nepal, ACC YouTube page for the rest of the world. Stay tuned, and we are going to be joining you very shortly.